So volunteering is hugely relied upon, massively undervalued and at real risk if we don't engage with this generation um, of actually just falling away. Really? So what, just pretty much disappearing altogether? Yeah, I mean, we are really lucky in New Zealand that we are in one of the most generous countries in the world when it comes to volunteering. So we're really up there. Nearly half of us um, volunteer. But at the same time, we've got a real trend of people spending less time volunteering. So there's been a decrease of 42% in the amount of time that people give to volunteering. And that, um, to me, is a real should be a real stark wake-up call. So we really have to take that seriously and say, well, what are we going to do? How are we going to engage people differently so that volunteering is more accessible? Are we at a crisis point now, do you reckon? We're definitely not at a crisis point, but what we are at is at that wake-up call point. And if we don't do something about it, we will face a crisis. Because let's be honest, in New Zealand, we rely on our volunteers so much. So ninety over 98% of our search and rescue Uh, workforce are volunteers imagine if suddenly tomorrow we didn't have those then we'd be at crisis point you say that more people are volunteering but they're volunteering for almost half as many hours what's causing that yeah I think it's we've got to look beyond volunteering at what's happening in our society as a whole so we've had this huge reliance on um, unpaid work um, traditionally Um, women's work and really really undervalued in our whole society and so now we're moving much towards people being included in the work but everyone being included in the workforce but that means that the roles that were traditionally taken up um, by older people in our society by women undervalued so why is it that more people are actually volunteering but they're not doing the hours that they were i don't i think we actually don't understand how much benefit volunteering brings to the volunteer i think we so often think about the social impact of volunteering which is massive just in terms of the financial contribution as i said it's three and a half billion dollars a year but we don't often look internally into um, what the volunteer is getting out of it and actually we have more evidence about that So we know that volunteering um, sets off endorphins in the same way that sex does and actually contributes hugely to the individual life satisfaction of the volunteer. So it's a win-win all round. Is it also that volunteering, it's supposed supposed to be a selfless thing. You're not meant to be doing it because you want something out of it. Is it a bit wrong to be wanting to get a qualification or something yourself out of it? No, I think we've got to, we've always got to have that too. It's always got to work two way, um, volunteering if it's, if it's going to be successful for the organisation and for the person getting involved. Um, I don't think we should be shy about saying that we want to get something out of it. We want to see the impact that we're having. Mm-hmm.